Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Hey, welcome back everyone. Live here in San Francisco, this is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of Samsung Developer Conference, hashtag SDC 2017. I'm John Furrier, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media Coast The Cube. My next guest is Ken Young, tech reporter here inside the Cube. I've known Ken for almost 10 years now plus. Um, been in the Silicon Valley beat scene covering technology, communities, and all the you know, cutting edge tech, but also some of the old established companies. Great to see you. Likewise, thanks for having me. So tech reporter, let's just have a little reporter session here because <laughs> reporting here at Samsung, to me, um, it's my first developer conference for right, Samsung. Right. I stopped going to the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference when it became too much of a circus mm -hmm. around um, you know, close to just a couple years before Steve Jobs died. Right. Now it's a whole scene. We'll have to talk to Steve Dowling and get down there. But um, here, my first one, my report's an awakening. Okay, I get the TV thing, right? but I mean, I'm like, IOT, that's my world. Oh, absolutely. Like, I want to see more IOT. Yeah. So it's good to see Samsung coming into the cloud and owning that, so that's exciting for me. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you see as a report that you could file? You know, so that's funny, because I actually did write a, write a post uh, this morning uh, after watching the keynote yesterday. Uh, I, while, while I was at VentureBeat uh, a few few months ago, uh, I was I reported on Bixby's launch with the when it came out with the uh, Galaxy S8, and when I when I heard about what that was, it was it was kind of interesting. It was it was that was one of the biggest selling points for me to switch over from my iPhone, and. When I tried it out, it was it was it was interesting. Uh, I was kind of in, wondering how it would stand up against Google Assistant because the both both of them are installed on the same device. But now, as you see with Bixby 2.0 and and now with the with the smart things, you start to see uh, Samsung's vision because. Right now, it's it, it, on a mobile. It's just very piecemeal. But now, when you tack it, tackle it on with the with the TVs, with the yeah. fridges, and the the, the monitors, uh, smart uh, with the ovens and everything like that, it it becomes your entire home. It becomes your Jarvis. You don't actually have to spend 150 bucks or 200 bucks yeah. on uh, on a, on, a, on an Alexa enabled device or Google Home that yeah. most people may not be totally familiar with. But if you have a TV, you're familiar with it. Also, you mentioned Jarvis. That's reference to the to the, uh, the old sitcom, um, uh, but and when Mark Zuckerberg tried yeah. his Jarvis project, exactly. which was, you know, wire his home from scratch, although science project, you're talking about real utility. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we're getting down to the consumerization, so let's take that next to the next level. Right. If you look at the trends in Silicon Valley and certainly in the tech industry, blockchain and ICOs are really hot, yep. initial coin offerings. That's based on utility, mm -hmm. right? So, utility-based ICOs, communities using um, gamification, game mm -hmm. apps, utility. Samsung, smart things, using their intelligence not to try to be the next Amazon, right. e-commerce cloud company, they're just trying to be the better Samsung. Exactly. Which they've had some problems in the past. <laughs> and we've heard from analysts here, uh, Patrick Moorhead, who was on, mm, yep, um, yep. pointed out, illustrated the point. They were stovepiped company. Yep. And with Bixby 2.0, they're like breaking down the silos. We had the execs on here saying, that's their goal. Exactly. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the, form, it, it, everything has been siloed. You look at a lot of tech companies now, and uh, you, you don't get to see their grand vision. Everyone has this product roadmap when they start these companies, and when they expand, then you start to see everything come, come together. Like for example, whether it's Square, whether it's Apple, whether it's Google or Facebook, right? Um, and Samsung, a storied history, right? They've, they've been around for, for, for ages with, with a lot of great, great technology, and they're, they got their hands in different parts, yeah. but from a consumer standpoint, you're like likelihood of you having a Samsung device in your home is probably pretty good. And so why not just expand that, the, uh, leverage that technology? Right now, tech yeah. is all about AI. You know, you, you start to see uh, a lot of the AI startups get, get acquired and, and, and or heavily funded and yeah. heavily invested. And, people, and it's <laughs> really, all- Really, the cube is an AI. <laughs> We're an AI machine right here. Right here is the bot <laughs> telling us the report. I mean, the people are AI washing. Right. But I mean, right. AI, what the hell is AI? AI is machine learning. It's all about data. Using software data and collection, data. Data collection. Nailed yeah. it. And Nailed personalization. It. And, yeah. and you look at, uh, I interviewed uh, a Samsung 
executive at CES last year, um, uh, this January, and he was telling me about the, the three parts. Is it has to be personal, it has to be contextual, and it has to be conversational in terms of AI. And what, they've, what, they, it, what, you, see, what you saw yesterday mm -hmm. uh, during the keynote and what every, they've been, uh, executives and, and the company's been repeatedly saying is that's what Bixby is. And you could kind of say that's similar to, to what Google, ha Google yeah. has with Google uh, Assistant. You can see that with, with Alexa, yeah. but it's not, it's still very, those technologies are very silent. Again, personal, personable, uh, contextual, and conversational. That is awesome. In fact, that connects to what uh, Amy Jo Kim was talking about, the CEO of Shuffle Brain. Mm -hmm. She took it from a different angle. She's building these game apps, but she's becoming more of a product development because it's not just build a game like mm -hmm. a Zynga game or you know something on the mobile phone. She's bringing gaming systems. Her thesis was that people are now part of the game. Well, I was mm -hmm. my, those are my words, but right. she was essentially saying the game system includes data from your friends. Right. The game might suck, but my friends are still there, so right. I'm going to still, there's still some social equity in there. Right. You're bringing it over to the contextual personal. Mm -hmm. This is the new magic for app developers. Right. Is this leading to AR? I mean, this, I mean, what we're talking oh, about absolutely. here is, this is, these are the new convergence of the new formulas for successful app development. Right. I mean, we were talking about earlier, like, the, what, is, what is AI? And, and, and I mentioned, you know, it's all about data. And it's absolutely true. Like, the, the, your home will, is collecting so much data about you yeah. that it's going to offer that personal response. So you're talking about what is, it, you know, a, is, is this going to lead to AR? Absolutely. So, Whatever you, whatever data it has about your home, you might bring your phone out to uh, as you go shopping or whatnot. You might be out uh, sightseeing, and it might and and have your camera out, and it may bring back some memories, right? Mm -hmm. You might or or if you or might display a, a photo from your from your person from a, a photo album or something. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting tie-ins that, that can that could come yeah. into it, and obviously Samsung's camera on their phones have been are, are, are one of the top ones on the market. So, so gotta, there's potential for AI. Yeah. So I got to ask you, Ken. Yeah. So looking at the bigger picture now, let's look outside of Samsung. We can look at some tell signs here. Google mm -hmm. on stage, yep. clearly not grandstanding, but doing mm -hmm. their thing. Yep. Android, you know, AR Core. Yep. You're starting to see that Google. DNA, now they got TensorFlow and a lot of goodness yep. happening in the cloud with Sam Ramjay over there, mm -hmm. kicking ass at Google, doing a great job. Okay, they're in the big three, yep. some people call it the big seven, I call it the big three, it's Amazon, Microsoft, Google. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else <laughs> is, is fighting for four, or five, six, right. um, depending on who you want to talk to. But those are the three, what I call, native clouds, ones mm -hmm. that are going to be wholesaling resource. Right. Amazon is not Google, Amazon has no Android. Mm -hmm. They dropped their phones, Microsoft, Joe Belfiore said, hey, I'm done yep. with phones, they yep. tapped out. Yep. So essentially, Microsoft taps out right. of device. They still got the Xbox. Mm -hmm. Amazon tapping out of phones. Mm -hmm. They got commerce, they got web service, they got entertainment. This is going to be interesting. Actually, what's your take? Well, that that it, your interesting is uh, an, an understatement there. I mean, you look at what the the Amazon's right now is basically running the show, and it, as it comes to virtual assistants or voice voice powered assistants, Alexa. Uh, it, Alexa, uh, Amazon launches a bunch of Alexa products uh, recently, and then soon after, uh, I, I believe it was last month, uh, Google launches a whole bunch of uh, Google Home uh, uh, devices as well. But, bo but it's interesting, both of those companies are targeting, have a different approach to what Samsung is, right? Remember, Samsung's with Bixby 2.0 is all about con you know, consolidating the, 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 the home, right? Uh, you know, I, and in my, in my post, I, I coined it was, a, it, it basically is the, it was their fight to unite the Internet of Things kind of thing. So, but when, when it comes to uh, Alexa uh, with Amazon and Google, they're targeting not only like the smaller integrations with maybe like yeah. August or, or, or smart locks or maybe thermostats and whatnot, but they're also going after retailers and businesses, right? So how many skills can you have on, on Alexa? How many, how many uh, um, uh, what do they call um, Actions can you have on Google Home? I mean, they're going after, you're going to see businesses. The game they're might be the, the, well this is the edge of the network. So the reason why, again, coming back full circle, I was very critical on day one yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like, oh, Data, IOT, that's our wheelhouse on the queue. Right. Not a lot of messaging around that because I don't think Samsung's ready yet, and mm -hmm. nor should they be given their evolution. Right. But in Amazon's I think world, I think they're very. They're, uh, what, the, the way they played it yesterday was pretty good. A, a little, a little uh, 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 humble. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't set that expectation. Like, oh my God, this is going to like we like. They didn't dismiss it, but right. they were basically not highlighting it. Right. Uh, they the, did enough. They mm -hmm. did enough to to entice you to to, to tease it. Yeah. Um, but like 
Look, they they have a long way to go to kind of unite it. I mean, the look, they, smart, things, smart things has been around for a while, yeah. um, so they've been kind of building it behind the scenes. Now this is like, hey, now we're going to slap on uh, AI. It's similar to what do you to hear from developers? I've, I've been hearing some chirping here about the APIs got to be standardized. They're not oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. I, I think I think a lot of developers will probably want to start to see like, hey, if I'm going to build, uh, if I want to leverage AI and and kind of have it consolidate, I want to be able to to have it yeah. to leverage maximize my input, like maximize my reach. Like I don't want have to build uh, one one action here, one service, one skill here, <laughs> whatever Samsung's going to yeah. call it for Bixby. You know, I want to make it make it that yeah. that one thing. But uh, Samsung's whole monetization that's going to be interesting in terms of your marketplace. How how does that play out? Yeah. Uh, you know. Amazon has has recently started to, to monetize uh, or start to to, to uh, incentivize, as it were, uh, developers. Um, and Google will probably likely, if they're not already doing that, will, will has plenty of experience in doing that with with Android and now, and they can do that with Google. So I got to ask you about uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook has been rumored to have a phone coming, but I mean, they, tr they tried that once. They're licking their wounds right now. Yep. The, the love on Facebook is not high. I mean, mm -hmm. fake news platform uh, inconsistencies, you know, move, move fast, break yep. stuff, Zuck is hurting, it's yep. hurting Zuck. You know, and they're, you know, certainly the, the Russian stuff, I mean, I think, first of all, it's really not Facebook's fault. They never claimed to be some or, or original content yep. machine. They just got taken advantage of through bad arbitrage beliefs. It's, 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 but there's no lost love scale, there. People yeah. are not happy with Facebook right now, yep. so it'd be hard for them to introduce a phone. Well, they, they, there's been, you're right, there are rumors that they were going to uh, introduce a phone or again, um, after we all remember Facebook Home, which was, we, you know, we won't talk about that R. anymore. R. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, but I think they were, there was talk about them doing a, 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 uh, a speaker, like a, of some sort of a video thing. I think they're calling, I believe it's called uh, Project Aloha. Um, I, I, I believe uh, Business Insider and, uh, and TechCrunch also re uh, have re reported on that extensively. Uh, so that is, going to t that is going to compete with what Amazon's going. So yeah. everyone is going after Amazon, right? So I think don't ca yeah. don't discount Samsung on this part. I, I think they're going to be the, you know Samsung I don't want to call them a dark horse, but they you know well, they people are kind of ignoring them right well, now. Well, if Samsung actually aligned with Amazon, yeah. that would be very interesting because they'd have their foot in both camps, Google oh, yeah. and Amazon, and just play Switzerland yeah. and win on both sides. Samsung, I think, I think that Sam might be a viable strategy. I think and Samsung then Red has Redshift, yeah. Kinesis. If customers want to do that, mm -hmm. Google can apply some uh, cloud for them. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they feel about that. Yeah, I mean, Samsung will definitely be. Uh, I, I think has the appeal with their with their storied history. They can go after the bigger retailers, the bigger bigger uh, manufacturers to 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 leverage them because there's there's some some stability as opposed to why am I going to give give access to my data to to Amazon, uh, you look at Amazon, Amazon now as as Amazon's now the uh, one of the probably the de facto leader in that space. Yeah. Like you see people t teaming up with Google to compete against them. You know, there's a yeah. there's an anti uh, Amazon e type of type well, of alliance. I, would, out, I, out would, I would I mean I would say there's a jealousy factor. True, um, true. But a lot of the fud going out there. I saw Matt Assay's article on Infoworld mm -hmm. and. It was over the top, basically saying that Amazon's not giving back an open source. Yeah. I challenged Andy Jassy two years ago on that, and Matt's behind the times. Matt, you got to get with the program. You're a little bit, a little bit hardcore push there, but I think he's echoing the fear of the right. community. Amazon's definitely doing open source. They're yeah. involved, but the same thing goes for Alibaba. I asked the founder of Alibaba Cloud last week when I was in China, mm -hmm. what, are you guys are taking from open source. Are you giving back? And you know, it was off the record comment, and you know, he and was like, you know. They want to give back, right? right? So there's all kinds of political and or right. incumbent positions right. on open source. That to me is going to be the game changer. Mm -hmm. Linux Foundation, um, Apache, mm -hmm. that's growing. Exponential growth in open source over the next five to 10 years. Right. Just in terms of lines of code shipped. Right. Um, Linux Foundation's showing those numbers. And 10% of that code is going to be new. Right. 90% of the code is going to be reused software. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're going to you're going to need to have a lot of open source in order for for this for this ecosystem to to really flourish. I mean, yeah. to build it on your own and do it like proprietary. I mean, it basically locks it down. And it's like, yeah. and didn't Sony have that deal deal with that? Like when they were when they're doing uh, uh, like their own memory cards for for cameras and stuff and. You know, now they've uh, now their cameras are using uh, uh, micro e or, or using uh, SD cards now. I mean, so you're starting to see. A, 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 I think a lot of companies will need to be uh, um, supportive of open source. Yeah. I, in in tech, you start to see people boasting that you know we are doing this in open source. Or like Facebook is constantly announces, hey, we are releasing this into open source. LinkedIn will do that, uh, and every, any company that you talk to will except will Apple. 
Apple does some open source. Apple does this does some open not source. Not yeah. a ton though, but they're a closed system. True. And they're cool about it. They're yeah. upfront about it. Yeah. Okay. Final question. Bottom line: Samsung Developer Conference 2017. What should people know that didn't make it or watching watching this? What should they know about what they missed and what Samsung's doing? What they need to do better? You know, I, I think the what what really took took uh, took the two day conference is is basically Bixby. You look at all the all the sessions that it's all about Bixby, um, smart things. Yeah, like sure they consolidated everything into the smart things cloud. Great, um, but you know smart things has been around for a while and and they've uh, I, I'm interested to see how well they've been doing. I wish they released a little bit more numbers on those. Um, but Bixby, it was kind of interesting. Ten million uh, users on them uh, uh, after three months launching in the U.S., which is very uh, which is a pretty good number, um, but they still have a, a bit of ways to go, um, and they're constantly making improvements, which is which is a very yeah. good 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 thing as well. So Ken Young, Fred of the Cube, rep tech reporter, formerly with Venture Beat, now onto his next thing. Yep. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, gonna take you know, some time off. Take some time off. I'm going to continue writing uh, about what what I see yeah. and. Uh, who knows where, where that takes me. Yeah, it's good to get decompressed, you know, log off for a week or so. I went to China and I was kind of off Facebook for a week. It felt great. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no more <laughs> political posts. Like one more Colin Kaepernick <laughs> kneeling down a national anthem or anti-Trump post. I'm going to, yeah, it's just disaster. And then the yeah. whole Me Too thing hit. It was just, oh my God, yeah. it was just so much hate. A lot of good things happening though in the world and uh, good to see you writing out there. It's The Cube, I'm John Furrier, live in San Francisco. Samsung Developer Conference, exclusive Cube coverage live here. We'll be right back with more day two coverage of two days. We'll be right back. Oh.